Man, in today's video, I'm talking about how there are men and women that are trying to appeal to the court of public opinion after they then laid down and had all these kids and they want somebody to feel sorry for them. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, throughout my adulthood, you know, in, in, in seeing videos, I've always seen these videos of men and women, some of them are couples, you know, trying to appeal to the court of public opinion about uh, them having all these kids and it's too hard. I've seen men that uh, wanna lay down and have all this sex and uh, get all these women pregnant and not wanna take care of these kids. I've seen, uh, you know, there's a video going around right now where there is a, a single mother of five boys um, pretty much talking about how hard it is and she wanna give them up to group homes. And I, I kinda don't feel, a part of me doesn't feel sorry for these people for the simple fact that man everybody when they when they when they're living their so-called best life having all of this sex whether it be uh in marriage or out of marriage whether it be fornication and a, a, a man plant seed and a woman you know that's going to bring forth some duty some responsibility some obligation and the onus is on you as a man you know, uh, we're seeing this, the, the, the narrative of I'm a single woman, I'm independent, I don't need no man, that does not work when you are letting these men bust uh, and plant seed all up in you, and then you are left with the responsibility. You got a lot of men and women that are engaging in sex that don't want to be fathers, that don't want to be mothers. And I tell you, man, you know, uh, you, you truly have to humble yourself and turn from your wicked ways. I'm not, you gotta think, I, I have my own household to worry about. You know, I have my own biological daughter to worry about. You know, I planted seed and the onus has been on me to take care of her, to make sure she is provided for. You know, but it, it's, it, it's sad to see these people that they're always wanting to tell you about their freaky stories and how freaky they are and how much sex they having and single life is for them until until it pops out kids and now you're stressed out, ready to pull your hair out. Now, since you don't want to control your your, your uh, the sex you have and, and do it in righteousness, now you got these people coming for your whole paycheck, you know, and you, and you sitting up here trying to uh, not work a job because you don't want to provide for your kids. This is the kind of people that do that stuff. You know, and like I said, man, there's a video out with a woman. She's got five boys and she's talking about how nasty they are, how dirty they are, how disrespectful they are. And she's talking about none of the fathers do anything to help. But you got to think you put yourself in a situation where you got five kids with five different men and, and, and like you can that wasn't by design. It wasn't meant for you to have that kind of family as a woman, but look what you've created. You created a, a family of dysfunction. And the men that lay down with a woman like that, you know, you're laying down with a woman that's already living in dysfunction. And you're, you're it, it's hard enough to bring order in your own house as a man, let alone trying to uh, bring order uh, to in a house where that's made up of somebody else's kids and they don't have any ties to you. I'm telling you, man, all that stuff, you know, being a young man looking for something to bust down, man, it's gonna burn, it's gonna burn you. You're gonna get some brothers out there that's, that's enjoying harlot activities, and guess what? You're gonna get that harlot pregnant. You're gonna get that harlot pregnant, and she's gonna bring your child forth, and it's gonna be miserable. It's gonna be miserable. It's, it's not meant, it's not meant to be uh peaceful going against the word of Yah. Same thing with women. 
You think you can get out here and have this whole phase and all of this? You're gonna wreck your life. And no amount of success, no amount of education will ever uh, circumvent the fact that you made some, some foolish and ignorant decisions. You gotta think, I'm saying this, and a lot of people, they don't wanna hear it, but I'm saying this for the simple fact, if a young man or a young woman can hear this, I'm not here trying to tell you to have safe sex. I'm not here trying to tell you about you know, girlfriend and boyfriend culture and make sure they wanna marry you. No, before you, uh, you, you laid out and have sex with somebody, you know, which is, which is pretty much consummating marriage, you need to vet these people. You gotta, if, if, if you don't have a relationship with the most high, y'all, you don't have no discernment. And you see these people, well, they're, they're, they're fast to uh, make a baby, but slow to marry. You got these men that plant seed in these women and say, oh, no, nah, she ain't marriage material. But you laid out and bust all these nuts in her. Same thing, this dude ain't no good, and he worthless and sorry, but you laying down letting him clap your cheeks, put a baby up in you that's gonna uh, bring forth a lifetime of responsibility, 18 years of financial around the clock, uh, you gotta be there responsibility. I don't feel sorry for these people, man. I, I just, it's a sign, man. It says in the last days, you know, sexual immorality will be increased. Fornication will be increased. Uh, you know, rebellion against the most high yacht will be increased. But you gotta think, once you, once you say, once you sit up, and have all these kids, have all this sex, it's set in stone. And a lot of these people don't have no plans. They don't have the means, they don't have the resources, they don't have the know-how, the wisdom to be able to raise kids. So when you see these stories about parents uh, leaving their babies in apartments and not feeding them and chopping it, these is people that wanted to have sex but didn't want to be parents, didn't want to be mothers. And there is a there is a preventative measure that you can take in order so you don't find your, your, yourself in that boat. And that's abstinence, not engaging in sex. There's people out here thinking that uh, just because you wear a condom, um, you, you can't have a child. There's plenty of men that have, have worn a condom and a woman got pregnant. That condom busts and you didn't even know it. Here you are. You talking about you never wanted to be a father and you never wanted, hey, you better, better start being real with yourself. Real with yourself. When you look in the mirror and you getting yourself ready to go out and fornicate, you know, when you look in the mirror and you getting yourself ready on the night where you about to, you know, go engage in fornication, look in that mirror and be honest with yourself. How would I handle it if out of this situation a child came out of this? Man, I, I, are you set up for it to be able to do that? You gotta think, with inflation, everything, it's hard enough for adults to be able to provide for themselves. And people want you to feel sorry for them because they didn't lay down and had all these kids and they want people that don't even have kids to feel sorry for them? Man, I'm telling you, you better wake up. You will be humbled in the last days. You will be humbled in the last days. You gotta think, the older generation had a lot less when it came to resources, but they were able to raise stronger kids. And nowadays, we got a lot more as far as resources and people are having less kids. There's a lot going on with there, and we can unpack that in another video. But I'm telling you, having kids out of righteousness is, but I'm telling you, having kids outside of righteousness is going to be painful. It's going to be painful. It was not meant for you to have kids outside of righteousness. It was not the will of the Most High Yah. Having kids out of fornication, out of sexual morality, uh, you know, out of wedlock, it, it, in Ecclesiastic, it talks about your kids will never be able to take root because uh, the, the idolatry that took place or the adultery that took place, they won't be able to take root. So here you are raising kids uh, because you raised them in dysfunction and something that wasn't in righteousness. You can't wonder, you wondering why they're out here struggling and you're doing everything you can. It was meant for them to struggle. It was the will of Yah for them to struggle. See, don't let these people fool you about they finding, uh, engaging in all this sin and all this wickedness and then having all this prosperity. No, don't take that bait hook, line, and sinker. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.